Kurt Malik coming at you with another exciting video. We're going to try the ice trick of the garbage disposal to clean it out. I had a slow moving disposal. It does move. Thank God. What I want to do is use the tool if it got stuck underneath to first twist it. What you do there is take a hand and hand tool, basically come up in here under here, put the tool in the slot, and then with the motor off, <laughs> by the way, turn this make sure it spins okay so I got it spinning right so it is spinning okay now what I do is I take about a half a pound three quarters of a pound or a pound of baking soda right just for weight this one is whoops this one is a little over a half a pound so what I do is I put that into a cup mix that up with some water make a paste pour that into the sink then I get a little, you could let it sit for 10, 15, 20 minutes, but I just like to do it all at the same time. So I poured that, I already did that. So now what I wanna do is turn my water on to where it's just like cold water and maybe like a pencil sized stream. Put some ice in there, turn the disposal on. Put some more ice in there. Look at all that crap that's coming out. Oh. So in the interest of safety, I'm going to shut this off, push this down. I'm actually going to grab some more ice. So let me shut this water off for a sec. Oops. I'll leave it like that and get it going. Oh, there we go. There's the whole sweet goodness. Okay, so mine wasn't as clogged. Whatever it is, grab some more ice. When in doubt, throw it all in, right? So here we go. There's the rest of the ice going in there. In the interest of safety, I'm gonna use this. And there's this. I'm gonna come off a little bit. Hearing some noises. Okay, now this is what everybody talks about: is this cruddy gunk that comes up. That's what I want, right? The ice is doing its thing. Oh! Shutting this off for a second just so we can all hear each other. What I want to do is I want to get more of that ice down in there. I basically created a slurpee. So this is cleaning up all of the fat, right? The coffee grounds, the whatever. I try to throw my fat in the sink as much as I can. I mean, sorry, I try to throw my fat into the trash as much as I can, see? Instead of it going down the sink. So now let's turn the garbage filter back on. Got one more piece in there. I think it's safe to say that is a smooth running garbage disposal now. Cold water. Now I got it on full blast. I'm going to rinse this side out. Get that in there. Whew, the smell that's coming out of there is, I wish you had smell of vision. But hey, the trick does work. I'm just gonna make sure I run some nice water through there, cold, right, get that all cleaned out. Whew, the smell. Okay, so I've shut the garbage disposal off, and now what I'm doing is just rinsing this out. Much cleaner, way cleaner than it was before. Let me shut the water off. Here, I turn the light on way cleaner than it was before. And the smell that is coming out of there, whoo, stinky pants. Okay, so I think what I might do is just repeat the process again since I'm out of ice. I'm gonna have to start all over, but what I'm gonna do is baking soda, about a half a pound, put it into a cup, mix it up into a slurry, pour that into the garbage disposal, right? And then 
go ahead and run this again. Let it, I'm going to let the baking soda water mixture sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour or so, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, and then try to run this again with more ice to make sure that I flushed everything out of there. The smell coming out of here is just horrendous. It's probably two or three years of just built up gunk. Anyways, Cooter Malloy, check out some products in the description there down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing, and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.